Well, we got the first coat of primer up. Actually, we probably it won't even be the only coat. We'll see. Let's see what the wife says. Not here. I got a little bit more sanding to do, but this is what we got going for solar. We got quite a bit here. We got uh, almost 2,600 and 2,328 here. Oh, something just happened. There we go, just recalculated or something. So we've got almost 5,000 watts coming in between the two. And that is with 8,000, uh, 8,700 watts hooked up, but they're all facing different directions, so I get uh, power uh, longer throughout the day. We started with batteries fairly dead. The only thing on right now is this reliable. This one is just seems to be a really good inverter, like. It runs my essential vac, which is, takes an insane surge, like way more than 3,000 watts. So, and it do, this doesn't even have the soft start. This one just starts at full power, which is really weird. Check some BMS. They're cold to the touch. Cold to the touch. They're all cold. Dusty in here because we we're sanding, but. Yep, they're all cold to the touch. So, let's go take a look outside and see the new solar panels I added. All right, we're out here. Got a bunch of stuff I gotta get rid of. And we're gonna go over here to where solar panels are. This is just uh, temporarily set up to get me through the winter. All these are driven into the ground uh, about two and a half feet. There you have it. So I think 2600 watts right there. Got uh, my sister's dogs. No wind today. Nice and sunny though. First sunny day we've had in a long time. But we got those panels there. We got those panels over there. We got those panels over there. And those panels over there. I'll show you why I have to move them. <coughs> Yes, my front yard is messy. I am doing renos. So that's just gonna happen. But as you can see right there, where's my zoom here? I got shade on the panels and that's taken away. Even if one square is half covered, that'll take almost 50% of power away from all the panels because these are cheaper panels and they do not have um, diodes per cell. So it's unfortunate. So those ones are going to get moved forward and then I won't have that. And then by four o'clock, this is already getting shaded here. So it just was a bad position. Uh, those panels over there, those are in the sun. Bad angle, but they're still in the sun. So the uh, Midnight 150, I have three panels in series and then panels in series and then those are in parallel with each other. And then the the Midnight 250, I have four of these larger 72 cell panels in series. So I got a much higher voltage. I might be switching over to a higher voltage with these ones as well. Um, I'm gonna add two more panels there and then I'm gonna do uh, a series string of four each. So, anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. All right, so now we are making 2,800 there and just shy of 2800 here. This one is almost maxed out. At least in the summer this will probably be maxed out. And this one I still can put about 1500 watts of solar on approximately. Uh, maybe a thousand watts more like that. Anyways. So what we got coming in, 5400 watts I believe. See if we hit 6,000 watts today. It's awesome though. Really kicking the power out. Now we might actually hit full charge. That'll be nice. Anyways, thanks for watching. So it's three o'clock, and I'm about to lose these three panels to shade of those trees. Who knows? I might be uh, cutting those down a bit more. So once that one corner gets covered, I lose most of that, those three panels, and then these ones will be good for a while yet. 
you can see that where's the shadow so we're kind of, we've still got about an hour on these panels before I lose anything and look at that you got chimney on that one so yikes that sucks so that one is going to be that one's almost useless there now I might end up moving that array I might put it in front see if that's too ugly uh, let's go check out the new solar panels. I work, I very rarely have a day off where it's sunny. I only get days off where it's, it's rainy and cloudy and nasty. So I don't really see where uh, all the shade lands in my yard usually. <clears throat> I think this is, this is all still in the sun. Yeah, look at that. Got some shade from that tree right there. Right there. <laughs> Crazy. Well, there's about six weeks in winter where I live in uh, Canada where you really get almost no solar. You get maybe three hours a day at the most of usable sunlight, maybe two and a half. So, yeah, it'll be nice to get those up there and nothing's gonna shade it up there. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. We're almost fully charged today. Without these panels, it would take almost two days. So, this is good. We might actually be able to go off grid and stay off grid again. Because what I was having to do is go off grid for a day, on grid for a day, off grid for a day. We've had so much cloud, it's been terrible. Anyways, thanks for watching.